Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chop It Up. As you can see, my friend Michelle is having a great time today. Great time! Great time! I would like to talk about something <laughs> that, while it is personal for me, I'm sure it's something that a lot of guys in my position go through. And it is the social impact of having a very serious criminal record, right? Mm -hmm. um, any criminal record. It can it happens with lots of people with any type of criminal record, yeah. not even a serious one. Well, there's a, there's a uh, how do you say that caveat emptor, you know, a buyer beware when you have a very serious charge. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And first of all, I would like to say that my friend Michelle has always been supportive and always given me great advice and helped me learn the tools that are needed to basically navigate returning to society with this blemish, you know, on my record. Um, also, I would like to share this experience. There's an app, uh, Plenty of Fish, people use it for dating and all that stuff. However, there's a streaming um, option, a streaming uh function on it where people who are on the app can go live and stream right it's like reality tv they do i these did not know that yeah it's almost like a talk show right and there's this really 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 cool person a woman uh her name is maddie and she's in the carolinas and uh here i'm gonna show you a picture of her this is maddie right here now i'll put her little picture up in the corner and um maddie's got a uh, a regular session on POF and I've been chatting with her for a long time and it's not like a romantic thing you know she's not on there shaking her ass or anything like that she has real down-to-earth discussions you know and it's really really she's a really cool person so my uh, personal struggle was wondering when to tell people about my charge it was like my burden when to share my burden you know when it's too soon, when it's too late. And, and that's a real serious thing because you never want to have somebody think that you were scamming on them, you know, having sense by not telling them, but you don't want to just run anybody off either, you know? So I had been not really beating myself up about it, but I've been giving myself a little bit of problems with it because I would think about this person who uh, ducked me and this person that blocked me you know, I'm, well, I'm not just talking like romantic stuff. I mean, just socially and even professionally, you know, as a personal trainer. And so I asked Maddie, I said, hey, you know, Maddie knew a little bit that I had a, a criminal record. So I ended up telling her, look, man, this is what I went to prison for. You know, I told her I went to prison for murder, told her I shot two people and all that. And um, I said, as a woman, as a person, what, you know, how does this look to you? How, how is this? You know what I mean? And I told her about how people were running scared or, you know, acting like everything was cool and then dipping. And she basically um, set me straight on it. She said, listen, man, she said, you are unable to change, you know, what you've done. She said, oh, wait. Like you listened to her, but listen, you didn't listen to me. I told you I listened to you too. I gave you first props, the first credit. Who did I say first? That Who did I say like first? You were just like, don't man, don't let Michelle be mad that you didn't listen to her, that you had to go get no, back no, up no, on no, her no, advice. Listen, listen, let me finish. What wait, she wait, said, I got a little sign. The struggle is real. The yes. struggle is real. People don't listen to me. Yes, listen, listen, damn it. Listen, in a minute, I'll start saying, yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. But, um, and hold up, but that yes, dear thing, that's going to be our next segment. That so, is our next on. one. That is our next on one. Here. I've got some shit to say about that. I got shit to say about that. But continue on about how so, my advice had to be reinforced by somebody else. Continue yeah. on. Because this so just proves I'm right. Was, Maddie said, listen, that's not your problem. It's not my problem. She said that is really just a test of their character. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because a person I'm supposed to be friends with is going to be able to accept it and look past it. 
a person who I'm supposed to have as a client is going to be able to accept it and look past it. And if they can't, if they are unable to accept it and look past it, then that's their problem. But it's and know hard. that up front. And know listen, it up front. Don't waste your time with that bullshit. Listen, it's hard to say it's their problem all the time. It's very hard because as a man, you know, as a person, you have to have some type of accountability with yourself. So it's difficult to say, hey, I've done what I've done and it's your problem if you don't like it, you know? So, but that was but what she said. And then a whole bunch of people that were also in the chat room, they chimed in too, you know? They yeah. said, hey man, you know. And I didn't, the way that I phrased it was it wasn't that it was their problem. What it is, is they just don't want to deal with that baggage for whatever reason. It's just not conducive to their life that they want to deal with somebody that has that type of baggage that comes along with yeah. it. And that's fair. People get to make decisions about what they want in yeah, their life. Of course. So it doesn't make them bad people either that they don't want to deal no, with that. No, no, not at all. It just yeah. means that it's I, no wasn't, fault. I wasn't supposed to be in my circle, you know? Yeah. That's all it means. Pretty and it much. makes it easier because now you're not thinking, well, damn, that would have been a great client, but maybe if I would have just told him a little bit later, you know, maybe I found a way to till the fourth or fifth session and said, let me show you the push-ups we did in prison. Yeah, nope. You say, yeah. and you use that as part of who you are, because it is part of who you are. Right. You spent you know? how many years incarcerated? Oh, I mean, not like I was counting while it was happening, but after the fact, it was pretty easy to calculate that it was 31 years, 10 months, and five days. Yeah, so that's 31 years, five months, and 10 days, did you say? And 10 months and five days, thank 10 you. 10 months and five days, 10 months and five days. That's 31 years, 10 months and five days of your life. So yeah. to pretend like that shit didn't happen is yeah. ridiculous. And if somebody like can't accept it from the jump, God. It's like, it's like a recipe. Take this butthead, put him in prison, let him simmer for 31 years, 10 months and five days, and then remove him from the heat. Let it stand <laughs> and serve back to society. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's... I'm you? glad. I am so glad that Maddie said I was right. Yes, Maddie said you were right. Yes. Anyhow, so thank you, Michelle. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. And thank you, Maddie. And um, thank everybody for listening. And if you liked what we talked about in this segment, well, press like, subscribe, and share. And even if you don't share, just tell somebody about it, huh? And give us a comment for crying out loud. Yeah. Bye.